Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Chrissy Marie Taylor. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what entry-level positions you can do if you are getting a degree in Health Information Management, otherwise known as HIM. Now this video is for those who have a degree in HIM or are thinking about pursuing a degree in health information and you don't have any experience or certifications for the positions that you may want in the future. I'm gonna give you six options of entry-level positions that you can do to gear you towards your career destination. So if this is a video that you may be interested in, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do currently hold a degree in health information and I recently passed my RHIT exam earlier this year. Currently, I do work as a certified medical assistant. Before I started my HEM program, I kind of knew that I wanted to jump into the medical coding field. Once I received my credentials needed to work within that field, but I quickly learned that medical coding is a hard field to get into. Not impossible, but definitely hard to get into. But this is one of the reasons why I decided to start off my career as a medical assistant. Before that, I had zero experience in the healthcare field whatsoever. And since working my job as a certified medical assistant, I was able to gain a lot of experience. Before starting this video, I wanted to make sure you guys know that if you are thinking about going into this field, make sure that you attend a program that is accredited. It is important to make sure that either if you're going for your RHIT or your RHIA, you need to be attending an accredited program. And it needs to be accredited through CAHIM, which stands for Commission on Accreditation for Health Informatics and Information Management. If the school that you are currently attending is not an accredited program, you will not be able to sit for your RHIT or RHIA certification exam. So make sure you attend an accredited program. Very, very important. So let's talk a little bit about the types of role you can get with your degree. First, you need to decide whether you wanna get an associate's degree in him or a bachelor's degree. The major differences between the two degrees is that with the bachelor's degree, you focus more on the governance of data, which focuses more on manager roles such as director, coordinator, supervisor, etc. And that is with an RHIA. With an associate's degree, however, you focus more on the use of patient data, which are roles that includes auditing, coding, analysts, and things of that nature. And that is specifically for your RHIT. So if you want to become a medical coder or an analyst, or maybe even a quality improvement specialist, Specialist, then an associate's degree might be more for you. Now, if you're someone who wants to overlook medical coders and become a coding supervisor or HIM supervisor, and you want to be over the health information department, then you may be more suitable for a bachelor's degree. So how do you get started with your career after you graduate? A lot of the more mid-level positions are more challenging to get. Not impossible, but definitely challenging. This is because primarily a lot of employers prefer three or more years of experience to even be considered for this type of position, even if you are credentialed. So how can you get experience if no one will give you a job to start? Well, like all other work industries, sometimes you have to start with entry level positions to even get your foot in the door. For me, this is the reason why I decided to become a certified medical assistant after I graduated. I figured this will allow me to gain a lot of administrative duties that will make me more marketable whenever I do decide to go into the medical coding field. While medical assistant is also a great option, there are also other options out there that do not require any clinical duties whatsoever. Also keep in mind guys, HIM is not directly for just medical coding and billing. Our medical coding and billing is not what you're wanting to do with your HIM degree, that's perfectly fine. I will do an entirely separate video for you guys that goes into specific detail about the different career options you can have with your HIM degree. So definitely stay tuned for that video. So what are some good entry level positions to start with your RHIT or RHIA? As I mentioned before, medical assistant is a great way to start. And the good thing about that is some jobs do not even require you to be certified. Most jobs do, but some jobs do not require certification. In this case, you can use a degree as leverage to maybe get you a job as a medical administrative assistant, which is similar to a CMA, but you don't really perform any clinical duties. As a medical administrative assistant, the bulk of your job is circled around compliance, working with patient records, scheduling, billing, and the revenue cycle. The key is to find an entry level position that is relative to what you went to school for. An HIM professional's primary job descriptions fall within the revenue cycle department, which emphasizes data collection, billing, medical coding, and patient information. Medical administrative assistants perform job duties that fall under that category. So this will be 
a great option to start with. Another good route to take is to look into starting your career as a medical records specialist or RRI, which stands for Release of Information Specialist. Medical records specialists manage, prepare, and retrieve patient's charts to ensure accuracy for billing purposes or to provide helpful data to clinicians. Most medical records specialists can find a job with insurance companies, physician offices, rehab centers, skilled nursing facilities, medical labs, or outpatient facilities. Another key thing to remember is when you're working for entry-level physicians with a reputable company or healthcare facility, they are more open to giving someone within the company or that has been with the company or the facility job opportunities rather than outsourcing for new employees. So if your goal is to eventually land a medical coding position, you might be able to land a job within the facility or the company that you currently work for. Patient registration is also a great place to start. In this role, you are basically collecting patient demographic data. This includes any personal information, any contact information, and updating any new information within the patient's file. You are also responsible for patient referrals, appointment scheduling, collecting patient health history, and checking and updating any health payment coverages which is a great way to learn how the billing process works. Some of you may already know, before my current job, I previously worked at an ENT practice. And during my time as a medical assistant at that job, we did much of everything. That included much of patient registration. And while I was doing this, I learned a lot about health insurance and how the billing process works. So this is a great way to gain a lot of good experience, specifically if you're looking to jump into medical billing and coding. But it is also a great way to start if you're looking to get into other alternative HEM career options as well. Next is medical insurance specialist. Again, this is a great place to start if you're wanting to specifically get into medical billing and coding. Some health insurance specialists help patients obtain and understand their medical benefits. They also must follow all regulations and coding procedures to allow for payment of medical services. So if you're wanting to break out into the medical billing and coding field, this is highly recommended as a great entry level position. Medical billing is the next entry level job. You may want to look into getting started with the medical coding field. Medical billing can be considered as an entry level position because most medical billing professions require little to no experience. Medical billers work closely with the medical coding professionals on a day to day basis. And most often, medical billers will learn about medical coding on the job. The responsibilities of a medical biller include generating revenue by making payment arrangements, collecting accounts and monitoring, and pursuing delinquent accounts. They also are in charge of calculating and collecting payments for services like procedures, any lab tests, or surgeries. Now how does a job of a medical biller and a job of a medical coder go hand in hand? Once a service or procedure is completed by a healthcare facility, a medical coder's job is to generate those procedures or services into numeric or alphanumeric codes and a claim is created. Once this is done, the medical biller takes the claim that's dictated by the medical coder and submits them to the insurance company. They then make sure the patients are billed correctly for the timely payments to be made to whoever rendered the service or procedure. And the final entry level position is any position in a hospital that does not require much experience. Now remember how I said in the beginning of the video that some facilities, especially hospitals, will hire in-house employees quicker than they will any random person that has never worked for that particular hospital. The reason for that is it reduces the hiring costs. Because hiring internally doesn't require the company to advertise the position or spend any extra money or extra time interviewing, this practice can reduce the hiring costs. Things such as background checks, drug tests, relocation fees, all plays a part in costing the company money for the hiring process. Also, it shortens the hiring process. If you already work for this hospital, nine times out of 10, you don't need additional references or background checks. They already have that information. The HR professionals already know who you are, so you don't need to actually go through the get to know you interviews. And lastly, most reputable hospitals like to provide career development for their employees. Statistically, healthcare professionals like to work for a facility where they can grow. Internal hiring can encourage employees to continue to work with the facility and it motivates them to better perform their jobs. So if you are able to work as a front desk receptionist for an emergency department, or if you choose to work as a medical scribe, or if you're deciding to go in radiology for an x-ray technician, anything in the hospital that requires minimal experience, 
do it. That way you are able to move around and network with people within the HIM field. So when the opportunity does come around and they are looking for HIM professionals in the revenue cycle department, you could be possibly one of the first people that they may consider for the position. And this doesn't just go for the HIM professionals, guys. If you are wanting to do anything within the healthcare field in general, one of the best ways to get started with any career that you choose is to get started within a hospital. A hospital houses many different departments and many different health professions. It's a great way to grow and expand your knowledge and experience, especially if you have little to none. Working for a hospital will open so many doors and opportunities for you within your career in healthcare. So a hospital is always, always a great place to start. So those are the six entry level HIM positions, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and wanna see more videos like this, make sure you let me know in the comment section below and definitely subscribe to my channel. And make sure you share this video if you found it helpful or informative. And if you guys know any additional entry level positions that I may have missed in this video, be sure to drop them in the comment section below and help each other out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.